space exploration is seeing such a comeback, but there's nothing you can really do about the weather. Tomorrow's SpaceX launch has been bumped today because of bad weather in Florida. Four astronauts are now heading to the International Space Station on Friday. And guess what? We're chatting live with NASA astronaut Doug Wheelock, who has been to space. And thank you so much for being here, Doug. We appreciate it. Okay, so Doug, tell us a little bit about this mission. I know that, that NASA is able to reuse a SpaceX rocket for this. Tell us why that's so important. Very, very important for our, for our sustainable operations in space. And so this, this vehicle, as you mentioned, will have a reusable capsule and a reusable first stage rocket as well. And so it's the first time we'll, we'll reuse both of those items with crew on board. And so it's very, very much part of our architecture to have reusable um, uh, rocket parts and be able to have more sustained presence in space. Bring us into the mindset of what some of these uh, astronauts are feeling right now as they prepare for this incredible moment. Sure, we're getting to close to game time, and so it's it, they're sort of uh, their focus is coming narrower and narrower as they're they're falling back on what they need to know on ascent and then on their sustained ops as well. And so they're they're getting their game face on right now. So. Um, it's uh, it's all fun and games, and then it starts to tighten up a little bit as you as you reflect on what you've learned and the things that you need to be aware of. Uh, it's very it's a period of heightened senses uh, once that that fire lights underneath you. Right, checks, checks, and rechecks. I'm sure. I, I'm sure Absolutely. that it's uh, very similar to what the the ground crew is feeling as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's a there's an inherent trust that's built between not only the astronauts and the ground crew, but everybody involved in the in the launching of this rocket, including the weather people. And so, you know, the, we we we're going to launch, but we're going to launch we're going to launch safely, and we're gonna we're gonna make sure that everything falls into into place and the things we can control, uh, which is launch times and things like that, based on weather. And other and other factors, uh, we're going to exercise extreme caution. Yeah. Uh, so, Doug, I, I know we're also celebrating the success of the helicopter Ingenuity on Mars, uh, doing its first flight. Why is that so important? Why was that such a momentous occasion? It really is sort of like a Wright brothers moment. And so, you know, when I was growing up, as I always heard the adage, it's like we can put a person on the moon, but we can't do and then fill in the blank. And now we could say like, we could put a helicopter on Mars, but we can't do this. And so, but it really truly is a Wright Brothers moment. And, um, and it really sort of op just opens up doors uh, to generations of people uh, that want to uh, explore space and explore other planets and, uh, and discover what things are out there for us. And so I think we're hoping that it encourages a generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. And and I thought it was so interesting that the helicopter aspect, you know, people are think, you know, oh, it's it's a, just a helicopter. Well, it's a helicopter dealing with different gravity, de dealing with different sort of atmosphere. There's a whole host of things that go into it. So thank you, Doug. We really appreciate it. Thanks for being here today. Absolutely. Great to see you. you. Absolutely. Doug Wheelock, NASA astronaut and Army veteran. We appreciate it and we'll be watching on Friday. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.